Telcos are reinventing themselves as digital service providers, which means investing in agile infrastructure to deliver intelligent services that respond to users, take advantage of new revenue opportunities, and serve parallel industries. Doing so requires strategic partnerships to help them innovate from the network core all the way to the edge. Joining me now from Boston is Stephanie Chiras, VP and General Manager of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux Business Unit at Red Hat. Stephanie, very nice to speak to you. Nice to talk with you, Guy. Thanks for having us. No problem at all. Stephanie, how does the choice of operating system affect the transformation journey telcos are taking? I, I think you hit it on the head. It is absolutely a critical time as telcos are transitioning into be digital service providers. So much value they can bring to their customers. As they look at how they do that, it's really about how do they both provide what they're delivering today in a stable way, but pull in new innovation. And so the operating system is both foundational to that and strategic. As we look at what Linux can provide and what we've built into Red Hat Enterprise Linux, it's all about being secure and stable and pulling in a very broad ecosystem, the largest in the Linux industry, and then making sure that that is ready to consume new innovation that's continuously being developed in the open source communities. But it's really that bridge, pulling in a consistent foundation that's ready to pull in the next generation of innovations. So that stability, that consistency actually enables a number of other things, doesn't it? So many more things. Once you have that stable and consistent foundation, then as that expands across whether or not your you know, core in your data center, at the core of your network, out to the edge, the more that consistency spreads, now you can pull in consistent management across all of that. Once you have consistent management, then you can pull even in automation, and that starts to really build upon the value that can be brought in from the operating system. As we looked at Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, this is a core feature we had looked at. We pulled in a capability called Insights. Insights takes a data set and a rules-based engine built upon all the data and learnings that Red Hat has done with all of their customers over the last 15 years pull that into a rules-based engine that delivers value to customers. So as they now look at across their Red Hat Enterprise Linux consistent, stable, standardized sort of platform, now they can use insights to say, as I've deployed these security fixes, have I missed any? Do I have any systems that could be configured more optimally for that workload? I can apply this set of rules and that saves a whole lot of time and operational capabilities. Then I can pull in automation on top with tools like Ansible, and it starts to become a much more stable way of deploying security patches, managing configurations. In fact, we talked to Swisscom, they provided us a data point. As they have looked at making a transformation, they spend about 3,000 hours looking just at doing manual fixes and updates on the OS. If you can manage and automate that across all of your deployment, it's huge savings for the skills that you have on board. We have some videos even on our YouTube channel in order to learn more about insights, its capabilities, its features, and what it can bring to the table for deeper learning. Great, and of course, tied to this and any discussion about running a business better, as you've already alluded to, is security. Absolutely. Security is core. It's core from what we do from the bottom up. Capabilities like SE Linux. SE Linux is, is a technology that we pulled in, of course, core to what we do. It's all in upstream projects. We pull that in and that becomes a stable point within Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The beauty of how we've built up the portfolio, what we really do is provide that same Linux experience throughout our portfolio. So that SC Linux capability that sits within Red Hat Enterprise Linux, now you pull in the rest of our platforms as you pull in OpenStack, as you pull in OpenShift. Both of those are built upon Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So that security value you get from SC Linux feeds into both OpenStack and OpenShift. And that really starts to, now you see broaden that consistency. It's not just the consistency across Red Hat Enterprise Linux within a telco or a digital service providers installations, but it's into how they start to make that journey into containerization with things like OpenShift, 
it all starts to build up with a value proposition that can be trusted. So what we've been talking about so far, this is all about running the business better, but what about growing the business? It's such an incredibly exciting time around how applications get deployed. And as we look at applications and containerization and the flexibility that that brings, really it's great for application deployment, brings an exciting new world for developers. But as you look at how Linux and the foundation is done, it's actually a bit more complicated. Now, clearly there are some fantastic greenfield pieces of work being done in creating really ground up networks that are going to set the gold standard for what can be done with the new technologies. Folks like Rakuten and X by Orange, and we've been working with them. But as we look at many companies, as they start this transition taking what they're doing today and moving into this new world of what can be done with networks. It's about how do they make that journey? And we're doing things there in order to enable containerization, application modernization, and that whole pivotal transformation. Things like we came out with universal base image. As you look at how Linux is deployed in a containerized environment, it's actually much more complicated than it was in a traditional virtualized environment. You've broken up the kernel, Kubernetes, which calls the kernel 10x to 100x more times than the hypervisor ever did, and you have a user space that's actually in the container. So containers are Linux. As you pick a container, there's a Linux decision in there. So we have released what we call universal base image. It's freely accessible to developers so that they can create containers with a user space. And once that container is ready to go, when it's run on RHEL or it's run on OpenShift, it pulls in all the value of and that full Linux experience that Red Hat Enterprise Linux delivers, secure, stable, with the full ecosystem. It's pulling that combination in together. It, it's an exciting time as we look at how applications are deployed. But again, coming back to what we said earlier, the operating system decision is both foundational and strategic. What you decide today will impact what you can decide tomorrow and the options that you have available. So for any service providers who haven't seriously considered upgrading or migrating to version 8, where should they start? Really, um, we have a 30-day trial for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. This is the first place to go. There's nothing like getting your hands dirty to start and test out a technology. We have all sorts of training and certification that can be done for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. We've pulled in so many new capabilities, again, both for running the business better and for adopting new technologies that it's really worth testing out getting folks hands-on. We have special training for things like NFV. So we're here to help folks migrate, assess their migration, assess what they have running and the best value they can get out of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. This is all part of the community, how we all work together. There's so much value that can be delivered out there. We want to partner up to make sure we're helping folks to get the most out of it. Stephanie, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for having us, Guy.